Okay, you may use this video for academic or research purposes. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some axial skeleton palpations, which will require me to just touch your neck and other parts of your body. So right now we're going to start with the C7. So I'm going to ask you to look down towards the ground, and I'm just going to touch the boniest landmark right here. This is your C7, and then above is your C6 and T1. So go ahead and look up and down so I can feel the movement. And you're good. Okay, so now I'm going to look for your C2. So I'm going to come behind your ears and around. And your C2 is this bony landmark right along here. And then I'm going to also look for your nuchal ligament. So I'm going to place my ring finger here, my thumb on your C7. And I'm going to have you look up and down. And your nuchal ligament will move along with your head movement. Okay, so now I'm going to look for your mastoid process. So I'm going to come behind your ear, and it is the bony landmark right around here. Okay, so now I'm going to find your hyoid. So I'm going to ask you to look up a little bit, and I'm going to grab your throat. So I'm just going to come along here, and then I'm going to ask you to swallow. <laughs> Okay, so when you swallow, your hyoid bone actually moves up and away from the throat so that you can let liquid pass through. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to locate your longest colline muscle. So I'm going to touch you on both sides of your throat to locate your larynx. Then I'm going to go poke my finger in to try to reach the back of your throat where the longest colline muscle is. So if you feel any uncomfortableness, please say something, okay? Okay, so here's her larynx, and I'm going to use my pinkies. I'm going to poke back until I feel the longest coli muscle, and then we're going to locate your prevertebral muscle. So I can locate it when you look down. Bring your chin towards your neck, and then the prevertebral muscle activates. And you can come back up, and then it retracts. Okay, so now I'm going to locate your sternocleidomastoid. It's a muscle that runs along your neck and is a big connector muscle. So I'm going to come behind your ear and then run along, but as you can see, it's not that visible right now. So I'm going to have you turn your head to the right and then look, bring your left ear down to your chest. And as you can see, it sticks out more. Okay, so now I'm going to locate your scalenes. So I'm going to come right just above your um, clavicle. And this is where your first rib actually inserts. And then you can't really feel it while it's um, stable. So what I'm going to do is put some resistance on it to get the muscle activated. So I'm going to place my hand along your head, and you're going to push against my hand to activate it. And relax. And push again. And relax. OK, so now I'm going to locate your trapezius. And I'm going to start with your occipital prominence. And then I'm going to go a little bit below that. And it, the trapezius lands on either side because it extends all the way out. So I'm going to place my hand on your shoulder and put resistance on it. And you're going to shrug your shoulders up and down. And again. And it activates when you're moving your shoulders up and down. Okay. I'm also going to look for the splenius, which is a little bit on the lateral side. I'm going to work my way in medially. And you're going to turn your head to the left and right. And again, and when you turn your head on the opposing side, the same side um, shortens while the other side lengthens. Okay, so now I'm going to palpate your erector spinae. So I'm going to go from your cervical neck down to your lumbral sacral area. So first, I'm just going to feel along the midline of your spine and on both sides to feel the muscles that are along that when they are relaxed. And then we're going to do a move called Superman. So go ahead and put your arms straight out and up and relax. And then come back up and relax and then go back up. So these are to feel the activations on the muscle of both sides to see that they're reacting normally. You can come down. So now I'm going to locate your rectus abdominis. So I'm going to come along the midline of your um, stomach. And then I'm going to feel the muscles as they're relaxed. And then I'm going to ask you to go into a light crunch. 
and go back and then one more and go back. This is to see if your muscles are working when they're active and when they're relaxed. Okay, so now I'm gonna locate your internal and external obliques. So I'm gonna ask you to locate your waistline by putting your hands on your hips. So now I'm gonna place my hands where yours are and I'm gonna feel your anterior abdominals and your posterior and I'm gonna ask you to twist your body from right to left. <laughs> and again. This is to see the muscles activating on both sides.